Hey, what's up guys? Jordan Anderson here from Valley Films. So a while back I shared my top 10 goals and one of the goals I had was to get as many interviews with DPs as possible. Finally got some responses back from a few. I've sent uh, about seven core questions. I'll put them all in the description so you can see uh, what each question is. So the first one, this is from the director of photography, David Cruda. You can visit him at davacruda.com. And one of the questions uh, I asked him was, what has had the most impact on your path to becoming a cinematographer? And he shared with me, the most impact came from working with a DP as a member of the camera department. You see how they light, how they set up the cameras and shots. Sometimes they give you advice, etc. So thank you for answering that, David. It's very helpful. I asked him, is shooting beautiful unrelated shots a good substitute when DP gigs are in short supply? Uh, he responded, you should shoot as much as possible. The beauty of shooting today is that you don't need a film crew, a lab, a Steinbeck, etc. You can pick up a DSLR and pretty much do it all yourself. Anything to help you to build that reel. When you start getting a demo reel together, just think about what kind of DP work you would like to do and make sure your shots fit that aesthetic. The next director of photography that got back to me was Ryan J. Spears. Uh, he's done some really cool stuff. I saw some of his work, it just really blew me away. Normally, I like when I watch movies, I sort of see it. I see it as how they created the movie. Like I can sort of see like, oh, that's green screen. They did this and this. I saw some of Ryan's videos and I had no idea how they were able to do that. So props to Ryan J. Spears. So I asked Ryan a question. I said, you're an amateur DP and you have to reach mastery in six months. What do you focus on in those six months? Ryan replied was, I think the key here is identifying what you want to show on your demo reel or portfolio. Visualize it, shoot it. I think if you focus on two or three things to strengthen over a six month period, even the great masters didn't learn or build their success overnight. It was a gradual process. Keep that in mind and it will grow. Identify what I'd like to have and find a way to make it. Money and time are definitely a factor, but if you start on the path and stick with it, you'll find yourself progressing. Thank you for that, Ryan. Thank you very much. So another director that got back with me was Tyler David Yee. So thank you for getting back to me, Tyler. Tyler, I think I found him through deltree.org, but I'm not, I'm not sure if he's still with that company. So one of the questions I asked was, what has had the most impact on your path to becoming a director? And he simply said, Building relationships. Everything in entertainment is about building relationships. Yes, skill is very important, but people work and collaborate with you when they like you. Be transparent in your communication and honest in your business. People respect that more than anything. I totally agree, Tyler. Awesome advice. Thank you for getting back to me. Let's read one more question from Tyler. We'll go a little dark for this. What has been a negative surprise about being a director? He said, it's a very glorified job. Yes, you get to make all the final creative decisions, but if something goes wrong, it all falls on you. You are the first on set and the last one to leave. Prepare to sleep very little at times, but at the end of the day, it's all worth it. Those are some awesome answers, and I'll try to share some more answers from our DPs and directors that uh, as they start to come in. I wanna thank David Cruda, I wanna thank Ryan J. Spears, and I wanna thank Tyler Yee in answering my questions. Check out all their websites, check out the portfolios. I have them all in the description below. Uh, obviously, very easy to reach out to DPs and directors across the world. I encourage you to reach out to your favorite director, reach out to your favorite DP, filmmaker, and ask them a question, ask them a series of questions. Hell, just call them up and try to interview with them. With social media, with Twitter, it's, it is so easy to just, to, just to simply connect to your favorite director, favorite filmmaker, and ask them a question. Trust me, it's not as hard as it sounds. Find our blog here. I'll post a few answers in there as well. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Jordan Anderson from Valley Films, and we'll see you next time on the Valley Films video blog.